going on, Nip Slips, UCL fans and Pokemon fans alike? Nips here, coaching the Long Island Ranger Rockies, bringing you our week four matchup against the Bristol City Blazkins. Basically, you want to team mode to come in hot, folks. And let's take a look at the team we're versing right now. Let's see what we got going on right now. We are versing Game Boy Luke and the Bristol City Blazkins. Look at his team right now. Rocking the Mega Scissor, Dragonite, Thunder, Suicune, Rosary, Azov, Amapom, Hitmontop, Typhlosion, Tangular, Rotom Fan, and the Caracosta, folks. So this is our matchup. Huge things to notice right away. He has... The first thing to notice right away, he has no EQ presence. Other than Dragonite, not a single Pokemon on this team can use EQ. Maybe Typhlosion can, it might be Lime. Maybe Caracosta, but I don't think he has any, like... And you don't really run EQ on Typhlosion or Caracosta, so I highly doubt he's even... Uh, he would even, um... Put those moves on those guys, but you never know. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, other than uh, Dragonite, not a single Pokemon on your team can efficiently use EQ, is what I'm going to say, as I should say. But, uh, Luke is pretty solid, man. He's a 2-1 record. Uh, so do we. And he's got a great team, a huge threat. That's sweet. I gotta get through that somehow. That's gonna be a really hard to get through. But anyway, let's look what I brought this week, folks. This is what I, I already versed through. This is what I brought to him this week. We have Mega Manetric coming in hot, rocking the Flamethrower. Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and HP Ice. Why Flamethrower? Flamethrower assures the kills on... Uh, Mega Scizor, uh, even with special defensive as, as Moth, uh, has like a huge, like 98% chance, something like that. I don't know the exact math, but it's a really big chance of killing it. I don't want to risk missing Flamethrower, I mean, Overheat. Also, I don't want that special attack drop times two. I don't want that at all. I, want, I don't want that double drop. I want to be able to Flamethrower, do a lot of damage, and Volt Switch out if I have to with max damage. Um, Basically, we're trying to do the says deliver as much damage as possible while still being able to pivot at max damage. Uh, Flamethrower, there's a lot that definitely takes out uh, Scizor. Um, or if, if not, if he's fully special defense, which I don't think he's going to be, he can like, barely live it if he's lucky. Uh, there's overhead Tangular. If I knock its Eevee Light off, if he brings Tangular, that would be friggin' amazing. Just can knock that off, get Flamethrower off, and we'll probably do around 75% to that Tangular, being a modest nature. So, that's what we got going on with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, um, Manetric. Then we're bringing a Tornadus. Basically, we're bringing the same team as next week. We're changing a few items and uh, swapping out Broloom for Tornadus. Tornadus is rocking Taunt, U-Turn, Aerial Ace, and Knockoff. Now, I feel like Tornadus is going to be huge in my battle against Luke. Um, that Taunt is going to be crucial for keeping uh, Mega Scizor at bay now that it's set up. Keep it Suicune at bay if it's bringing Crocoon. Keep that at bay with no uh, rest, no calm minds. No, uh, just no, um, no setup moves in general. I'm waiting this thing to be alive for a while. I want this thing to be, uh, used efficiently. I'm gonna be able to pivot with it. I have air laser tangular. I have knockoff in general for things that take, a that don't want to take knockoff. For example, the Azelf or any Pokemon that doesn't want to lose their item. And we have u turns for momentum, folks. And we got 52 attack, 52 speed, life orb. And I put it there, it's life orb. Then we have the MVP of last. We got Mammoth Swan coming in hot. Dropping off that Babiri Berry, bringing a life orb and rocking the same exact set. Um, not much to really say about this. Ice Shard for his Ice uh EQ for Stab, Ice Crash for Reeds, and Knock Off for um, Momentum Gaining and doing damage and knocking off items. That's our Mammoth Swan. Then we have our Delphox, our backup answer to Scizor. Delphox resists um, uh, Steel type attacks. Uh, oh, Koja's Flamethrower. Uh, has grass stuff for Caracosta, has Dazu. Uh, I didn't bring Dazu. Shoot, I didn't bring Dazu. Um, I finished him. We have Flamethrower. This was Shadow Ball. This is Shadow Ball, not Dazzling. We have Shadow Ball for Azelf. We have grass stuff for Caracosta. Oh, you have Shadow Ball. Shoot, what the, hell, what the heck did I do? Oh, Psy Shock. Psy Shock. Psy Shock. That's what we had. Psy Shock. Psy Shock. Psy Shock. Oops. Wrong. You guys, you guys get the point. I got Psy Shock here. Basically, for Stab, there's a lot of damage. Also, um,. Psy Shock is great against... Let me do this team real quick. Honestly, Delphox is amazing against his whole team. Let's, let's look at this real quick. Let's look real quick right now. So, Delphox kills Scizor. No matter what, did I bring HS? No, I didn't bring it. Delphox kills Scizor. Can't do much of Dragon, but he still has to beat it such a decent amount. Thunderous, uh, Thunderous takes, um... Psy Shock, not well. Suicune, this is good against Suicune. For me, it says the combine. I can Psy Shock that, do more damage. Roserade drops, you bring special wall. if you bring special wall, Roserade, Psy Shock kills it, Oko. Uh, Shadow Ball with Life Orb kills Azo with Modest. If I bring Modest, I don't know if I am. Uh, Amipom, really can't do much to you. Hematop dies to Psy Shock, or at least two. Typhlosion, uh, can't really do much to you, but hey, I have speed, you're probably going to be Scarfed. Or Specs, I gotta watch out for that. Tangula uh, takes damage from Flamethrower, obviously. Hurts on Fan. Um, uh, I don't know. He's, he's really good stuff for you, obviously. He's really good against uh, Luke's team. So, we got Delphox coming in hot. And then we have Bronzong. 
And like I was saying, there is no threat of EQ on his team. So I'm going to bring a physical wall bronze on with heat proof for things that like such as fire punch from Amipom, uh, fire punch from Dragonites, uh, fire attacks in general, just to, uh, just to reduce the damage on that bronze on. Because getting up rocks against Luke is going to be huge for the Dragonite, the Thunderous, um, Typhlosion, residual damage to break sashes on people, um, Rotom Fan if you even bring that. Uh, just extra damage is always nice to have. So Rocks is gonna be a huge priority for me to get up in that in this game in the in the game against Luke. And last but not least, we're going to have our beautiful, wonderful, amazing uh, Tentacruel. And this time around, we're keeping Miracle, but we're gonna drop Toxic Spikes and bring Ice Beam for obvious reasons. We have Skull for utility, so we can burn things such as uh, Scizor, such as uh, what do we want? What do we want to burn? We want to burn. We want to burn Scissor, we want, we want to burn uh, Hitmon on top would be nice, we want to burn Amapom, lowers attack, we want to burn Karakosta if you bring that, we want to burn, just burn in general man, anything, just get residual damage off and just, just reduce, reduce the attack of physical attackers man, that is huge, so having a nice burn utility on our team would be good, nice scold, Ice Beam obviously for Dragonite, Thunderous, uh, Roserade, Tangela, um, Rotom Fan, you guys get the deal, so basically, what I'm going to try to do, I'm probably going to leave with Bronzong, depending on what he brings. I'm going to leave that Bronzong. Um, I want to set up Rocks ASAP. I definitely want Rocks up. He's only Spinner and D... Well, he is too. He has a spin on, rap, on uh, him on top, Defog on Scizor. So we got to watch out for that. Um, Mega Manetric. I was surprised he was running Calx. Mega Manetric's uh, Hidden Power Ice Modest does over a half to Thunderous. And I outspeed it. That is huge. Because one thing I just realized now, Luke's team... He has Flash Fire Typhlosion, and he has Volt Absorb uh, Thunderous. And that, like, that's going to be hard to play around with my Mega Manetric, man, because that just... I got I to gotta, I gotta make the right predictions, make the right reads, man, to really use a Manetric efficiently, because he could easily suck up attacks all day, man. He could Volt Absorb, he could uh, Flash Fire. He's a lot of... He's, that's pretty... It's a nice little thing he, he could have going on with his team. And knowing Luke, he's probably going to bring that... Uh, anything else key to think of? Key to think of? Key to think of with my team? Uh, is there anything else I wanted to say? I already mentioned Taunt Top. Probably that's going to be. Uh, I think I think that's it. Oh, yeah, we are running the HP variant. We're not running the speed variant. Uh, I think Del Fox is going to be the game changer of this game. I really do. Because Del Fox is a great matchup against Luke. He has so many options for all your Pokemon. Um, you can easily get through Scizor. You can easily get through... Um, Roserade could do damage to Suicune if it, if it comes to it. He could Elko Aza if I get a good read. He could uh, uh, almost Elko him on top with a good uh, side shock. He could do a lot of damage to Ampom. Uh He could probably Elko Karakosa with Grass and have to rock damage. Even greater than Sturdy. Rotom Fan takes a lot of damage from side shock. Tang of the Dice, a flamethrower just about. Um, yeah, I need to bring Delphox. Delphox is a phenomenal Pokemon against Luke's team. It, it, goes, it goes well against like five of his Pokemon, so it's definitely a, a must bring. Uh, but other than that, I think I said I mentioned the lack of EQ in your team, so I have to bring I don't bring Live Take, I bring Heatproof to prevent fire punch damage. But uh yeah. Oh, did I change your movesets? No, I kept the I kept the exact moveset. Yeah, that's right. I brought basically the same team, but I switched out Berloom because Berloom is pretty bad against Luke's team. And uh, I switched out Berloom for Tornadus, guys. Alright, folks, that's gonna be your week four lineup for the Long Island Ranger Rockies. Hope you enjoyed this little video. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. We'll see you Saturday for the actual game against Game Boy Luke and the Bristol City Blazekins. I'll see you guys then. I'll see you guys there for some more ORS Pokemon Wi Fi battle action and some egg -like action as well. I am Nips. As always, guys, have a great day, and we will catch you next time.